Hello everyone, welcome back. Today is February the 10th. Hope everyone's having a great week. So the story I wanna to do today is um, the rumors of an affair were false and they were connected to the jealous one. And I'll show you how. Here's my copy of my disclaimer. And you can also find it in my description. So we know that um, rumors of an affair were going around the internet, and we know that uh, a certain uh, squad was also um, uh, reporting these rumors and trying to get it trending on certain days after the Earthshot Awards and um, after some other events that William and Kate were attending. Rose and Kate apparently grew close through a charity work at East Anglos, Children's Hospice. So here's a picture of Rose Hansberry. She's got uh, royal ties and uh, she at often attends a lot of state dinners. She's the Marchioness Rose Hansberry and she's married to David Rock Savage and he's the seventh Marquess of Chumney. So this is something I found on Twitter. And talking of splitting up another woman's home, Megane was behind this spreading rumors of hate. Giles Corrin had admitted and he and Megan thought this up while drunk. William had upset her, uh, talking about Megan, and not allowing her to be an escort to a function that Harry was attending. So in the picture above is Robert Lacey, and he is, has a new book coming out, um, Brothers at War. And uh, let's see what he has to say. The Giles Corrin person who spread the rumors about the Rose Affair had uh, publicly said that the rumors were made up by him and were untrue in the new Robert Lacey book. Thank God for this. Two families with young children had been very publicly dragged through the mud because of this disgusting lie first tweeted by him. I'm so happy that for at least now that the kids won't have to um, read about this and these allegations about the parents online. Some people still believe the conspiracy theories about Rose and the rumors, but this admission by Giles Corrin at least tells the truth and we can put it in the mainstream. This is a picture of Giles Corrin. And where is his um, connection to Meganette? It's from the Soho house. And I'll show you more about that in a minute. But oddly enough, he was a um, radio presenter and he was... Um, allegedly let go from that job because of uh, racism. It said the presenter and Times columnist Giles was recently accused of blatant racism over his review of a chicken shop, Popeyes, the new branch in Stratford, East London. So these are the type of people that um, hang out at Soho House and the type of people that she convorts with. Kate Middleton and Rose Han Hanberry have been spotted together since that scandal, despite all the claims of an affair and a falling out. It wasn't really true, and the Daily Mail's Richard Kay made it clear that the story was actually false. So what do you know? What a coincidence that Giles Corrin posted a tweet in which he said that he was aware of William's cheating right after he had attended a party at Soho House in Amsterdam that also featured... Megan and Harry. Who knows who suggested this to him? He said that everyone knew it. But who is everyone, darling? Everyone who goes to parties full of alcohol and God knows what else. It's Soho. You see how these people get together and um, she uses different people to get her message out to the media, to spread um, falsehoods, and we're accused of misinformation. Well, I don't have a hate channel and I don't hate anyone, but uh, what I do um, have a problem with is people that go out and distort the truth and are supposed to be crusaders for misinformation, but yet they're the ones spreading the misinformation so uh, Cardi B would say, okay, so let's get to the truth, people. I've got one other slide for you, and I want to thank everybody for watching. Thanks my new subscribers, and for those that are joining me again, I appreciate you very much. The desire to reach for the stars is ambitious. The desire to reach for hearts is wise. By beautiful uh, poet Maya Angelou, who's no longer with us, and my thoughts. Catherine, the Duchess of Cambridge, chooses love over ambition, and that's why people love her. We see that she is a genuine person, 
that um, she has love for everyone in her heart. She cares about people and causes that um, she works so hard to um, bring awareness to. And we see that the jealous one is always trying to tear somebody else down. She focuses on negativity while uh, allegedly hiring a group of people that, um, that go out and try to spread misinformation online and say that we're haters and that um, we direct our channel um, about her. Well, I don't. I talk about um, the royal family, but I'm afraid she's uh, always in the headlines, and there's things that I disagree with and I have an opinion on, but I do do research, and I do look extensively into it and try to find the information so that I can bring you what I think is a fair, honest, and unbiased report. So I want to leave you with this. Thank you to all of you for watching today, and I hope everyone is um, blessed to have love around them. And um, if I don't talk to you again before Valentine's, I want to wish everyone a happy Valentine's Day. Thank you again. Goodbye, everyone.